Hello and welcome. I thought it was time to make a little video like this so you can see my face. I've been sitting here for roughly two months now during the COVID-19 and I hope you're doing well, all of you. It's very dark times now and uh, actually I have a hard time coping with it, but you have to do it. So nothing to do about that. And I have a lot of stuff to code, so I at least have something to do. And in this little video, I thought I could talk a little about how the life as a freelancer is. I'm currently a freelancer. I've been that for roughly eight years now, I think. Before that, I was working five years at an ad agency with the digital stuff and did both design and coding and stuff like that. Today, I work for a client with a very large React application. I work remotely and I love working remotely. That's something that I really embrace in my life and to be honest I don't really think that I could go to an office every day and have to be there specific times on each day. So working remotely is something that I also think I'm going to talk about more in another video but this video I just want to say some things about working as a freelancer because I know that there's a lot of people that wonder how that life is and it has both pros and cons and uh, I think I've We'll start with the pros, actually, actually to have uh, good news here. So these pros and cons are something that that's uh, my opinions. All right. So I like to be a freelancer course. I want to have more control over my time and life. I have a family with two small kids and a wife, and it's even more important to have control over your own time. And that's more possible when you're a freelancer than if you're employed because I can control some aspects. For example, if I worked for a client and made enough money so I can make it uh, for some time, I don't have to accept new projects if I don't want to, if I want to do something else. For example, I work on premium courses and I work on my YouTube channel, creating stuff for you guys. So sometimes I can control that and kind of uh, weigh the time between what I want to do. So that's one aspect that's, uh, that's really good. And also, when you actually got to work, you get a lot more pay than you can get in a regular employment, at least here in Sweden. I don't really know how it is in other countries. But I get paid more as a freelancer, but I don't work as many months as you do in a regular employment. So if you kind of uh, divide it out over the years for each month, it's probably not that much more, but at least I think I have to work less. I never worked more for a client than 80% the last eight years. So I don't work 100% on my client work. And that's great. I like to have my own days to do my own stuff. And I, to be honest, I put in a lot of effort and work in my courses and my YouTube videos. So I have to put aside time to do that also. Okay, and one big aspect for me also is that you don't have to attend all that meaningless meetings and stuff that can be going on in unemployment. So I often felt like, ah, I just want to work. I want to do stuff. But now we have these three, four meetings each day. And I ended up not doing what I wanted to do. So that's a really, really great aspect for me to, to, to not have to attend all those meetings that are just killing me. So, so that's, yeah, if you don't like meetings, be a freelancer. Okay, and in a way, I can also choose my clients. I can I can choose whoever I want to work with. For example, if I don't want to work with with uh, uh, tobacco companies, I would never work with them. I don't have to do that. But if you're employed somewhere, they may force you to work with that client. So that's good to be able to choose who I want to work with. And there's a simple one also. It's actually more fun. I like having my own company and work for myself. It's a better feeling for me because I have that mindset and I like working this way. Okay, so that was some pros on being a freelancer. And there are some cons also, of course. And I think one, and that's actually the most important aspect, I think, I think because many people, I've seen a lot of people that don't think of this. Being a freelancer is about having your own company and having your own company is all about selling. And to be honest, I'm not really that fond of selling, but I have to do it. So you should know that, that you have to sell yourself to get projects. Otherwise, you can't just sit on your ass here and hope that they will contact yourself. They probably will if you get famous and all that stuff, all 
you've done a lot of great stuff, then there, of course, will be clients that contact you and want your help. But for the most of the time, you have to do a lot of selling. And that's one aspect that, that I think it's really, really important for you to know. And one other aspect is that often they expect more from you because they pay you on an hourly basis. So they expect more from you than an employee. For example, as an employee, you, you have your, you're drinking your coffee and doing stuff, talk with people. You probably won't work that many hours each day if you count the effective time that you're working. As a freelancer, you work each hour and you get paid for that also. So it's very important that you work all the time. All right. And one other aspect is that you don't get a team feeling as you get in an employment because you're always at the side. You don't attend the meetings. You don't uh, belong to the team because you're just a freelancer or a consultant. So you may feel a little bit outside of the group, but for me, it's fine. I get, I have get used to it and I don't care that much, but I know for a lot of people, it can be essential to really feel that you're in a team. And the last thing is that you actually have less security than, than you have in unemployment. And that's naturally because you don't know if you have a, a client. I usually just work for clients a couple of months and then I have to get a new client. But of course you can have a project that goes on for many years. But for me at least, uh, it's not that common actually. So if you have an employment, you're guaranteed that you get your salary at least. All right, so that's some pros and cons with being a freelancer. I hope you got some information out of this uh, uh, if you're planning to become a freelancer. It's really fun. I really love it. And I think I've, I've actually said to myself that I probably can't be employed anymore <laughs> in my lifetime because I enjoy it so much. But keep in mind that it's not for everyone. But you have to have a special kind of mindset to be able to work like that. And especially when you're working remotely, as I do, I actually love that also. Uh, but some people don't like it. They want to have an office and they want to meet people all the time. So it's not for everyone. All right. See you in another video.